I want to start this video by saying, Call a Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great mill, son of Ruel. Shout out to your brothers out there preaching and teaching truth worldwide. I say shalom on to the hopeful lit. Today's lesson is entitled, People Are Really Starting to Lose It. So I got a clip right here where this woman who appears to be an Edomite. She's straight bugging out. Esau out here passing out here in these streets. So we understand the Lord is going to put a special spirit, special spirit on these Edomites and these other nations to endure what's to come. And what, I'm, what, I'm, what am I talking about what's to come? That slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Here it is, this damn devil passing out over gas prices. You know what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven? If your lineage go back to be an Edomite, you been building up the kingdom of heaven. So here it is. You ride around, look like you got on a a, a scarf or whatever. It's it's hot as hell down south, and you complaining about the fucking gas prices. Shit, got worse things coming to you in the kingdom of heaven. So I'm gonna play this clip real quick, then get into some scriptures. <laughs> Thought you knew. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, hey, she's bugging the hell out. What what did they tell Jake back in slavery? Or not even back in slavery. Shit. 20 years ago. 30 years ago. 40 years ago. Hey, pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Go get another fucking job. Get another job to buy the damn game. I don't give a damn. It's Esau fucking complaining. Here it is, Deuteronomy 31st 7. Start hitting y'all asses. And Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So the, the, the curses that was on the Israelites, the Lord is starting to take them off of the Israelites and put them on our enemies. That's why here it is. She bugging the hell out. Yeah, gas is high. Right down the street, well, the gas pump um, near me, I think it's like 464. <clears throat> so, hey, yeah, hey, everybody here getting, feeling the, the, the pinch at the pump. I was watching the video, well, listening to the video from Pastor Har. He was saying that he cut back some of his driving from doing the um one of the apps, app-based job that he does because... He's going to his, his <clears throat> he's not making any money because a lot of it is going to um, his gas tank. Instead of driving five days, I think he said maybe he drove like four days instead. Hey, so at the end of the day, everybody feeling, the, the, you know, the pain at the pump. But we shouldn't be bugging out like this because why? We understand the prophecy. This has to come. Nobody said it's going to be easy. Um, 
as far as going to the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be a rocky, tumultuous road. So, hey, gas prices are going to be spiraling out of control. Food prices are going to be spiraling out of control. As long as you remain into these scriptures, understand that this must come to pass in order for the kingdom of heaven to come. All hell has to break loose. We understand that the the implant, uh, um, the mandatory mandatory of the uh, um, uh, Revelation thirteen verse sixteen, the MOTB, it has to be implemented. So we understand a lot of prophecy has to take place, and famine is one of them. The uh, tearing down of, of, of the the American petrodollar. The currency being devalued, all those things has to come, all those things are coming to pass. Why? Because this this society here in America, Babylon the Great, it has to be destroyed. Right now, economically it's being destroyed. Then we understand that the physical is gonna come on the latter end. <clears throat> That's what the thermal nuclear destruction. So as the scripture said, Deuteronomy 30, verse 7, and Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. <clears throat> Got this book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the Lord said he's going to have mercy on, on Jacob. And he's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers, those strangers, and we were once strangers before we came into the faith. And what did we do? We cleared onto the uh, um, the men of the Lord that was teaching this, this word. So we are likened to those strangers as well. <clears throat> so those strangers are, the, those strangers are actually Israelites. Israelites. They, they may look like the other nations or they may have just came into the faith. So they cleave onto um, the brothers, the apostles, the elders teaching the truth. They cleave into the house of Jacob. <clears throat> As the scripture said, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them or set the nation of Israel in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2. And the people, talking about Israel, shall take them, talking about the other nations, starting with Esau, Edom, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for service and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So she crying about damn gas. $98 to fill up a tank of gas. What about Isaiah 14 and 2? going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven. For servants and handmaids. And they, Israel, shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to be ruling over our oppressors in the kingdom of heaven. So she bugging out. She passing out over gas prices. He ain't going to be driving around in the kingdom of heaven. No, nah, he has work to do. No, nah, you, you, you don't need no car. You don't need, hey, what you need to do is in that field. Get it together. Get out there. Pick the tea leaves. Whatever it is, whatever crops we need. Going to do it. See, what we're going to do, we in the kingdom of heaven, see what these damn devils did. They went too far. But as far as <clears throat> they're going to be ruled over by the law, it's going to be righteousness. So you break the law. Hey, whatever, whatever, whatever the law commands us to do, that's what's going to happen to you if you break the law. So everything we're going to do is going to be do based upon the scriptures. We're not going to be doing any any of that. Uh, freaky deaky butt breaking bullshit that you was doing over here um, in America we ain't gonna be doing none of that see Esau this nigga is, is a damn devil he think of all kind of weird ass shit to do 
But we're going to have fun. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <clears throat> we're going to have fun. Verse 3. <clears throat> Isaiah 14, verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that your house shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the heart and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's going to come a time. The kingdom of heaven, the well, Lord's going to give us rest from, from our bondage and from our, from our sorrow. We're going, the Lord's going to give us rest from that. See, over here, and we were sent over here in America, Babylon the Great, to serve our, our, uh, our punishment. Now, hey, we're at the end of it now. So now we're starting to see these curses, these different uh, uh, atrocities that will only happen to Jake, the so-called Negroes, Native American, Latinos. Now we're seeing Esau bugging out over gas, just straight bugging the hell out. So right now, hey, everybody feeling the pinch, the squeeze. Here it is. She She's complaining about what she's earning. They been fucking Jake on, on the salary. Now she bugging out because here it is. Maybe it was costing her maybe $45 to fill a tank up. Now it's costing her 90 I think she said like $98 or whatever it was. And depending on how far she lives from her job, she may have to fill it up one and a half times a week. So now she can't do all, all her, her her leisure activities that she used to enjoy. Because Esau is cutting into, cutting into that pocketbook. <clears throat> so I got this Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. So the type of vengeance we're going to be laying uh, on the nation of Edom. It's going to be according to the Lord's anger. Lord got a record on everything that, that these devils has done. Everything they have done to the nation of Israel. See, we can't remember it. The Lord remembers it. That's why in the, in the book of Revelation, Lord, hey, hey Lord said we're going to give them double. As a matter of fact, I already got that pulled up. But as the scripture said, <clears throat> Ezekiel 25, verse 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, Yashorala, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord power. So these devils gonna know the vengeance. As we as we just straight beating them, getting them in shape, get out of line, they gotta get back in shape. That's right. The scriptures say beat them uh, was a, a a rod of iron. Break them like a potter's vessel, roughly prayer paraphrasing. <clears throat> I mean, as a matter of fact, let me get that. Uh, one second. Now it's in the book of Psalms. I think it's Psalms too. Let me check. All right, Psalms 2, uh, verse, verse 8. <clears throat> Book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So, hey, and if we join heirs with the Lord, they, they that's part of our, our, our inheritance, you damn devils. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possessions. Thou shalt break them, the heathens, Esau, Edom, and the other nation, with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So she crying about gas. 
Have you read the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9? You're going to be a possession, first and foremost, to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahshah, and then the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. So you bugging out over this $98 gas. I just read a scripture saying that you're going to be owned by someone, which is the nation of Israel. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. What is an inheritance? <laughs> Esau, y'all got all this passed down money from generation to generation. That's an inheritance. So you all going to be an inheritance for the nation of Israel. And I'm going to finish off with this uh, right here. <clears throat> Revelations chapter 18, verse 6. Uh, reward her, Babylon, I think uh, it's going to Babylon the Great. Revelation 18, verse 6, reward her even as she rewarded you double and double unto her according to her works and so in the cup which she filled, filled to her double. So you damn devils. See, Babylon is falling. You're going to get double. So you you crying about this, this gas price. You're getting double, 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 double. So the Lord going to have to put a special spirit on you Edomites to endure because people passing out over gas. Gas prices got them passing out. She's passing out over that. So, hey, I just want to do a quick lesson, you know, dealing with that, you know, people are losing it right now over the gas prices, you know, food prices, just everything in general, you know, you know, electric. It's hot right now. It's like a heat wave gripping the country. So here it is. You got high ass gas prices on top of a heat wave, which is pretty, it's kind of early normally, you know what I'm saying? That would be like an August type thing for typically, you know, you get a heat wave, but now, hey, Lord got it turned up. Month of June, heat wave sweeping. See, next week, I seen we're into my in the in the hundreds, hundreds for like three, four days next week in um Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Wanna wanna uh, wanna end this lesson by giving double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Real Well. I'm gonna say shalom to the to your brothers out of preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. Hopefully this lesson was edifying. Shalom. People are losing it. So I want.